All right, folks, you guys got the visuals. Today, we're making a French toast fried chicken sandwich that's over the top. Let's get it. If you look down here, this might give you a headache. I ain't gonna lie to you. It looks like it's a whole lot of stuff, right? Normally, I don't pull it out like that. Now, listen, when I'm cooking for so long, I've been cooking for so long, I don't always measure it out, but listen, it makes things much, much easier. At least pull your ingredients, right? So I have everything right here. Don't forget the full ingredient list will be on the website. You know what I mean? That's smoking and grilling with AB.com and that's W-I-T-A-B.com. Now, listen, you can hear it in my voice. I'm starting to get into a roll, folks. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm super excited to make these again. You know what I mean? Just want to show you guys how you can level up, you know, your weekends with the holidays coming. Anyway, you know what? I'm starting to ramble. I'm talking a whole lot. Let's get it. Now, See the ingredients, we're gonna do it this way. Now, I do have a treat for you. I'm gonna start off with my, uh, we'll talk about the treat as I'm working. I've already cleaned and washed and did that, patted it dry as much as I could, you know, my chicken, right? So, when I'm cooking, I don't know about you guys, but I like to have a trash can close to me at all times, right? I got a set of gloves on. Now look, this is boneless, skinless chicken thighs, right? If you see this right here, you wanna cut this off, right? Look at all of this fat, you know what I mean? Uh, I would say cut the fat off. I'm going to just say it that way. You know what I mean? Let's just go ahead and get these cleaned up, right? Once I get these cleaned up, I'm going to show you the next step. But we're going to go ahead and start this because we want to get these nice and marinated. And we want that soft, soft, flavorful chicken. Now, listen, if I'm making this at home, you guys can pull all of the ingredients, most of the ingredients after you start your marinade, right? I like to uh, marinate anywhere between 30... 30 minutes and I say uh, four hours. You know what, to be honest with you, just keeping it 100 with you, the longer the better, right? So, get yourself a bowl, add your chicken, right? You see I trimmed it, but I don't take all of that off. You know, a little bit of that is gonna be the flavor too. You know what I mean? Everybody knows, you done read the t-shirts that say, fat is flavor, and this is true. Now, if you guys scan back a little bit, I want you to look at this right here. Look, I got buttermilk, white pepper, salt. Right, so we're gonna take this, and notice how I got them all grouped together. And remember in the beginning, I said that it might be a lot to it. You know what I mean? It looks like it's a lot, but that's because a lot of things are grouped together, and that's the way we do it, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and just add this here, right? And then don't forget, look right here, folks. Always have hot, soapy water, right? You know what I mean? Uh, and I don't wanna like contaminate my water no more than I have to, right? So it's okay. Rinse, we nice and clean there, and then we put it in there. Now you add the rest of your ingredients, right? And it's broke down in the, at my website. Don't forget, smoking and grilling with ab.com, w-i-t-a-b.com, right? So put these over here like that. Grab this here, and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna give this a mix, you know? So this is our marinade. And I'm not gonna make no whole lot of these, man, because I'm trying to cut back, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm gonna have a lot of these during the fall season, you know what I mean? So you can see, I could get, uh, I could get three more thighs in here, right? So. We'll just mix it up. I'm gonna put some saran wrap, put this in the refrigerator, and I'll see you guys like in a couple of hours. Now that we have our marinade, you know, our chicken and our marinade, it's in the refrigerator, it's going. Why don't we utilize this time to go ahead, you know, and set up our, uh, our flour, right? So we gotta season this, right? So look, these ingredients right here, the way I put them out, they were in line together. You saw them in line, these all go together. Super simple, folks. Then you wanna just dump this in here like that. I'll tell you, it's real simple. Get yourself a whisk, or you can do it old school. You can go ahead and hit it with that, uh, check it out. You can go ahead and hit it with the fork, however you want to do it. But look at the color. Remember that the flour was bleached right? Look at it. That can tell me, that tells me right now that we got some season in there. Okay, so look, it's time for me to go ahead and take that chicken out, right? Listen, it's been marinating long enough. It's been a couple of hours. What I'm gonna do is start adding my oil to my, you know, my Dutch oven. I like to use a Dutch oven or something like that. Something that's a Dutch oven, which is really a cast iron with a ceramic coating, right? But uh, something that's heavy. You know what I mean? You want it to be able to hold the heat. So we put this in here, it'll just work, folks. Right, so let's start going ahead. Let's go ahead and get some fire underneath the bottom of this right here. And what we want to do is have 350 degrees. Now, a lot of times when you see me use my Dutch oven, I guess it's more so for like the new people. I still use it every now and then. I'll use a candy thermometer in there because I want to make sure I'm at 350. Or I use my, check it out. Let me grab it right here. My meat thermometer. You know, get in there and get a reading. 350 is what I like, but I'm going to say this right now to be for real. You want to be about 365, something like that. 
three, even 370, because when you put your chicken in there, it's already coming out of the uh, refrigerator. It's going to be nice and cold. So then when you put it in here, it's going to lower your temperature. The key is keeping this at 350 degrees throughout the constant cook. All right, so now I'm going to take this out. Right? Take that off. Actually, I'm going to take one of these because this will be a little easier for me. You know what I mean? We just put the flour in just like that. Put this over here like this. And give it a little, just a little bit more whisk. Take it. You want to let it drip, right? Then we just go ahead and put it in just like you see, right? I'm going to put two in at a time. That'll do it. You know what I mean? I don't want it to drop too much. Remember, it's been in there for a couple of hours. So we just grab it, put it in like that. Now I'm going to get in here. I'm going to use my left hand, you know, just to get it all coated. Now, I let this sit in here, you know what I mean, and, you know, just for about five minutes, you know. So I'll take my chicken, and what I'll do is now, and when I put it into oil, I like to move it back and forth like this, and then I like to lay it down away from myself, right? And I'm going to do the same thing with this other piece, but I'm only going to use two at a time. Shake off any excess. Bring it over there just like that. Now that our, you know, our chicken is cooling, at least so that we can eat it, right? We're gonna go ahead and get our, you know, our French toast done. So I'm gonna be real simple with it and real quick with it. If you guys look, just the way I had everything, I had everything for my, you know, my French toast all in one spot, right? So now everything goes together, we're gonna whisk it together, and then we're gonna go ahead and put it in our, um, our cast iron, right? So let me hurry up and get that done. All right, folks, so look, we all know how to make French toast. If you didn't know, now you know. Super easy, right? So I'm putting some heat underneath my uh, cast iron. I like to use a medium flame when I do this, right? So I got my couple of teaspoons of, uh, of butter. Let's just go ahead and put this in here. We want to get this to start to melt. Okay, folks, so look, Brio's bread, you know that's like the best bread. So what I'm getting ready to do is, that's nice and hot. We just go ahead and put them in here, right? Let me move this out the way. Go ahead and flip this. All right. All right, I'm gonna grab this one here. Nice and coated. Drop him in just like that. Give you guys a heads up. You wanted to have more of the brown look, which is like the cinnamon and all that. Set it down on top of it, and that's how you get that on the bread. Just in case you didn't know. But I'm sure you guys already did. All right, so here's the last part about it, right? So making the French toast, you know, that's pretty easy. We deep fried our chicken, you know what I mean? That's done cooled off. I don't know if it's cooled off. It's still got a little heat to it. But now we're gonna make the, what I call, this part right here ties it all in. And listen, I'm settling down because I want to tell you something. This right here, let me see if I can get it so you guys can see it. You see that right there? This has been the new level up as far as jams. I don't care if you're doing preserve or whatever, you guys want to do this right here. Now this particular jam, jam vino, right? Listen, it's called strawberry block. And I guess that's strawberry and uh, blueberry together. I like how they combine the name. But I promise you, I don't want to use no other jelly or no other jam or nothing else. This is what you want to have. Now I'm going to combine that with this bourbon and these ingredients right here. We're going to cook it down, get it a little bit thick. We're going to assemble that together. And then what we're going to do, we're going to tie it all in together. Now, I'll put all the information to get this. Trust me. If you guys don't have this right off the back, I'm not even sure. Some of you guys might have it already, already, right? But if you don't, you guys can substitute this brand right here and these particular, uh, you know, tastes. You can uh, use like any type of, uh, like a marmalade or, you know what I mean? You can use peaches or something like that. But I promise you, I wouldn't be putting it on my channel if it's, you know, not right. I don't get nothing from this. I let you guys know whenever I find out something that's fire. And this right here, folks, fire.
All right, so now, listen, when it comes to making your, listen to this, this is a, how would I call this? I'm gonna call this a strawberry chili sauce. You know what I mean? It really is a bourbon strawberry chili sauce, right? That's what we actually make it. Now, some of you guys don't do the liquor. I understand that. Listen, you don't have to, you can just take this out and just cook this down, but we finna get this started right now. All right, so I'm gonna put in about a half a cup. I got it. It's already hot, but don't worry about it, folks. For those of you guys that are going to ask this question, can you taste the bourbon inside of that? We want the unique taste that makes it bourbon, right, without the alcohol. The alcohol will cook off on its own, you know what I mean, as long as we keep that heat underneath the bottom of it and we cook it out. Then what you want to do is just add the rest of your ingredients, right? I already told you it's a chili sauce, so it wouldn't be nothing without no sweet chili in it, right? Now I can smell the alcohol in the air because it cooked, you're starting to evaporate, right? It's gonna leave that unique taste in there. Now, we're getting ready to come with our, if you ask me, this is the secret ingredient right here, folks. And then underneath the, uh, I got a, like a medium type high heat. It, yeah, a little bit more than medium. You know what I mean? Uh, not quite medium high. You know what I mean? But you guys just want to go a decent flame. Let me do. Let me show you what I got right there. You know what I mean? You want to match something like that, right? So when you put it on top, what we want to do is continue to cook all of the alcohol out, right? And we want to cook it until it thickens up, right? You'll see. Look at that right there. It's on its way. You can see it at this stage. It's starting to thicken up, you know what I mean? So we just cook it down to our desired thickness. I'm sure all of the alcohol is off now. So before you guys even ask, trust me, the alcohol is gone, but it left that bourbon taste. That's what we was looking for. Okay, so when you keep stirring it, you know what I mean? You keep it under that heat, it starts to thicken up, right? If you guys look, right, that's what you wanna have. You know what I mean? This right here is gonna be fire. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this off. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna just assemble. Now, you guys can make a, if you got a big enough uh, skillet, make some, uh, I tell you what, here, gonna be a, a, here will be a level up. Make yourself some scrambled eggs, let it spread thin, and then fold it over. Cut it in a nice square, and then you can put that down there too. Hey, I'm just giving you ways that you guys can do your thing. You know what I mean? And uh, we, all right, folks. All right, so now, I'm gonna take my spatula. I don't like this to be so runny, right? So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna give me a little coating of this right here. When I tell you this is what ties it all together, this is what does it, folks. Uh, trust me, I know some of you guys can't see that part past, you know, having that bourbon in it, right? But it's okay, you know, just trust me. You know what I mean? Uh, this video right here might just do good. You know what I mean? And you guys read them, uh, those comments, right? I'm not gonna steer you wrong. It's worth the trouble to do it. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. Now, I could tell you several ways I could have done this. I'm gonna put this on the top right here. Oh, a little peach flaked off right here. Ooh, ain't nothing like being a chef. All right, so I could have took this. I could have put some saran wrap over the top before I even put them in the marinade. Even actually cut this in half and just hit it down, spread it out. But I like to have some chicken, right? So that right there tell me I got some chicken. Now. Watch this, folks. This is where we really get it. You see that right there? Uh-huh. I know y'all do. Right. And then to top it off, take this, and we put that right on the top right here. Yeah, yes, sir. Hey, I don't want to lie to y'all. Listen, this right here is fire. You know what I mean? Uh, listen, we've been snacking on it already. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just cut this down and have you guys come on in here and look at this. But look at that right there and tell me you wouldn't want to have some of that. And the real key is I tied it in with this, this great jam right here. I'm, you, you know, right here. I'll put all of the information down in the comment section below. I'll probably put it in the description and it'll be on my website too, folks. It's very, very, uh, hey, I'm gonna say it like this. It's a must have. 
So, that I don't go ahead and just continue to over talk this, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this like that, and I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna turn it around, and the only thing really I could have said that I could have leveled this up with would, would, would be, it would be uh, egg and some cheese, or something like that. You know what I mean? Maybe if you wanna put some bacon on it or whatever, but listen, I'm about to dig in, folks. Cheers, y'all. Happy brunch, folks. I don't know why, right when you say, okay, we finna record, I get to laugh, man. But I'm gonna say it this way. I got the best job in the world. Cause I get to create, make, and guess what? Then I get to eat it. So, talk to me down in the comment section below. You know, it's the same thing as the last video. I wanna know, cause this is how I learn. I put the things in here, kinda like kept it basic. Like I said, I could have put cheese, eggs, and, uh, and some bacon on the top or whatever. But I'm sure you guys got some other things that you would do that'll really make this fire. Now, if you're new to my channel, don't forget, I want you guys to like this video, tell everybody out here, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. I don't know, I done made this, I don't know, maybe 70 times, right? This changed the game. And with that being said, you guys, do what you're going to do. Let me know in the comments. And guess what? I'm out.